subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Exam 70 to 761, Querying Data with Transact SQL. The Microsoft Querying Data with Transact SQL 70 to 761 exam helps you validate your skills, and knowledge that is necessary to manage, and query data into program databases. This exam covers a vast syllabus, and thus requires deep learning. The Microsoft 70 to 761 exam will catapult your career, and help you achieve new heights. Why choose Microsoft 70 to 761 exam? The Microsoft 70 to 761 is a highly acclaimed certification. This exam makes your resume shine, and grabs the attention of your potential employers. The benefits of Microsoft 70 to 761 exam are First, this certification validates your mastery in SQL Server 2016 Transact. Second, Microsoft certification enhances your employability, and makes you job ready. Third, it also helps you chase further advanced goals in the field of IT. Fourth, this certification guarantees high growth opportunities. About 23% of Microsoft certified professionals reported receiving up to a 20% salary increase. Fifth, Microsoft certifications provide you with a competitive edge over non certified candidates. It is estimated that certified employees earn 15% more than those without certification and are nearly 20% more productive. Sixth, you'll make immediate impact as a Microsoft certified professional. This credential will help you in getting noticed, and bring recognition. Now we will discuss about, Microsoft Certification Details. The Microsoft 70 to 761 exam is your first step towards earning the MCSA certification. On successful completion of both Microsoft 70 to 761, querying data with Transact SQL, and Microsoft 70 to 762, developing SQL databases, you will achieve the expert certification of MCSA. SQL 2016 Database Development The MCSA, SQL 2016 Database Development demonstrates your skills as a database professional, for both on-premises, and cloud-based databases. Objectives of Microsoft 70 to 761 Microsoft querying data with Transact SQL 70 to 761 exam focuses on the following objectives. First, filter, sort, join, aggregate, and modify data. Second, use subqueries, table expressions, grouping sets, and pivoting. Third, query temporal and non relational data and output XML or JSON. Fourth, create views, user defined functions, and stored procedures. Fifth, implement error handling, transactions, data types, and nulls. Exam details The Microsoft 70 to 761 exam is definitely your way ahead to become a Microsoft certified MCSA expert. Following are some basic details about the exam. Now we will talk about target audience. This exam is intended for SQL Server database administrators, system engineers, and developers who are seeking to validate their skills and knowledge in writing queries. Prerequisite for Microsoft 70 to 761 exam The candidate must have an experience of two or more years in Microsoft SQL Server. Now we will discuss about how to schedule the exam. The Microsoft Querying Data with Transact SQL 70 to 761 exam is built to test your abilities of SQL Server 2016 Transact SQL Data Management, Database Programming, and Queries. The exam can be scheduled as for non-students interested in technology at Pearson VUE, for students or instructors at Certiport. Exam Retake Policy Microsoft allows five attempts per year for a specific exam. The exam retake policy for Microsoft 70 to 761 exam is as follows. First, if a candidate is not able to clear the exam in the first attempt, the candidate must wait at least 24 hours before retaking the exam. Second, if a candidate does not clear the exam the second time, candidate must wait at least 14 days before retaking the exam a third time. Third, a 14-day waiting period is also there for the fourth and fifth subsequent exam retakes. Now we will discuss about cancellation and reschedule policy, Microsoft 70 to 761 exam. Microsoft allows free canceling of the exam within 24 hours prior to your scheduled appointment. But if you fail to show up on your exam day without rescheduling or canceling your exam, 
Microsoft reserves all rights to forfeit your entire exam fee. Rescheduling and cancellation of your scheduled exams can be done through the certification dashboard. Exam course. The Microsoft 70 to 761 exam covers the following domains. Percentage against each domain represents its weight age in the exam. First, manage data with Transact SQL, which compromises 40 to 45% weightage for this exam. Second, query data with advanced Transact SQL components, which compromises 30 to 35% weightage for this exam. Third, program databases by using Transact SQL, which compromises 25 to 30% weightage for this exam. Second, query data by using table expressions. Identify basic components of table expressions, define usage differences between table expressions and temporary tables, and construct recursive table expressions to meet business requirements. Let us now discuss about exam course topics in detail. Domain 1, Manage Data with Transact SQL, 40-45%. First, create Transact SQL Select Queries. Identify proper select query structure. Write specific queries to satisfy business requirements, construct results from multiple queries using set operators, distinguish between union and union all behavior, and identify the query that would return expected results based on provided table structure and or data. Second, query multiple tables by using joins. Write queries with join statements based on provided tables, data, and requirements, determine proper usage of inner join, left, or right, or full utter join and cross join construct multiple join operators using and or determine the correct results when presented with multi table select statements and source data write queries with nulls on joins third implement functions and aggregate data construct queries using scale or valued and table valued functions identify the impact of function usage to query performance and where clause sargeability identify the differences between deterministic and non-deterministic functions, use built-in aggregate functions, use arithmetic functions, date-related functions, and system functions. Fourth, modify data. Write insert, update, and delete statements, determine which statements can be used to load data to a table based on its structure, and constraints, construct data manipulation language statements using the output statement, determine the results of data definition language statements on supplied tables, and data. Domain 2. Query data with advanced Transact SQL components, 30 to 35 percent. First, query data by using subqueries and apply. Determine the results of queries using subqueries and table joins. Evaluate performance differences between table joins and correlated subqueries based on provided data and query plans. Distinguish between the use of cross apply and outer apply. Write apply statements that return a given data set based on supplied data. Third, Group and pivot data by using queries. Use windowing functions to group and rank the results of a query. Distinguish between using windowing functions and group by. Construct complex group by clauses using grouping sets and cube. Construct pivot and unpivot statements to return desired results based on supplied data. Determine the impact of null values in pivot and unpivot queries. Fourth, query temporal data and non relational data. Query historic data by using temporal tables, query, and output JSON data, and query, and output XML data. Domain 3, program databases by using Transact SQL, 25 to 30 percent. First, create database programmability objects by using Transact SQL. Create stored procedures, table valued, and scalar valued user defined functions, triggers, and views, implement input, and output parameters and stored procedures. Identify whether to use scalar valued or table valued functions, distinguish between deterministic and non deterministic functions, create indexed views. Second, implement error handling and transactions. Determine results of data definition language statements based on transaction control statements, implement try, catch error handling with Transact SQL, generate error messages with throw and raise error, implement transaction control in conjunction with error handling and stored procedures. Third, implement data types and nulls. Evaluate results of data type conversions. Determine proper data types for given data elements or table columns. Identify locations of implicit data type conversions in queries. Determine the correct results of joins and functions in the presence of null values. Identify proper usage of isNull and coalesce functions. 
Preparatory Guide for Microsoft 70-761 Exam First, refer the official exam guide. Firstly, you need to go through the official guide of Microsoft 70-761 exam. Familiarize yourself with all the objectives and course domains of the exam. Devote enough time to each topic and have in-depth knowledge of the subject. Second, devise a study plan. The next step is to strategize a study plan for your preparations. Following your plan will help you remain consistent and also help in avoiding distractions. Remember the key to excel is to start early, hence begin with your preparations, and stay motivated. Third, books, your best friends. Books are the most important ingredient of preparation. There are a vast variety of books available in the market, which you can use to prepare for the Microsoft 70-761 exam. Therefore, our suggestion to you would be to find books for the Microsoft 70-761 exam from genuine sources. Fourth, learn from online resources. There are plenty of online resources available online for the preparation of your Microsoft 70 to 761 exam. Each resource tries to offer you clarity about your exam domains. We recommend you to refer the official Microsoft documentations. Fifth, go for a training course. Microsoft provides its own training courses for the preparation of this exam. We know that being a practical exam, it requires hands-on training. To solve this issue Microsoft has come up with training options in two modes. Choose the one that best suits you. 1. Instructor-led training The Microsoft Instructor-led training is similar to the traditional classroom training setting. You can in-depth understanding of the exam course and hands-on experience. 2. Online training Online training offered by Microsoft is an ultimate resource for you to prepare. Such training help you learn on your own schedule, at your own pace, and in your own place. 6. Practice tests Practice tests are really significant to check your preparations. They provide you with insights about your strengths and weaknesses. Strengthening your weakness will help you ace the exam. Attempt as many practice papers as you can and try to perform better than the previous one each time. There are plenty of practice papers available online. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. 